name is Justine F. Chen. I'm a composer. I'm David Simpatico, and I'm the librettist. The project that we're working on, we call right now the Turing Project because there are different names that are in the... In the floating in the air. Floating in the soup. It's about uh, Alan Turing, who uh, was uh, one of the preeminent mathematicians of the 20th century, a uh, British uh, gentleman who uh, was instrumental in breaking the uh, Nazi U-boat code that was uh, within, that was like a month away from bringing England to its knees. Um, he created the world of computers. He basically created the computer age. And in uh, 1952, uh, he was uh, condemned for the crime of gross indecency because he was homosexual and he was forced to chemically castrate himself. He uh, was obsessed with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the, um, the Disney movie. And when he died, he died uh, eating a poisoned apple. And people theorize, oh, well, he was just playing out this movie that he had played out, this moment that he had played out. Or they think that uh, he did that so that his mother would think it was an accident. There's a theory that it was an accident. He had an accidental ingestion of cyanide. It, it, some of this, lots of different little layers and uh, adjustments to actually what happened when he died. And we're going to present four different. The, the third act is the four deaths of uh, Alan Turing. I thought it was very exciting when he told me when he was he wanted to do, to do this, that he wanted to make it as, as spare as possible. Because <laughs> that's kind of the opposite of what I think of when I think of David. That's ex exactly how I think of opera. I like to go to the exact, like the, the leanest possible thread that will hold a story together because music inflates everything. Right? It, it will make it very large. This project, <clears throat> we want to uh... We wanted to have realistic roots. We wanted to have its roots in the realism and the, in the history and the fact of what happened. But we don't. We're not intending to be his biographers. We want to be his fantasists. His fant fantasists. Fantasists. We want to be his fantasists, not his biographers.